Have you heard of the fan theory surrounding um, Tom Hardy's Max? No. So there's a theory on the internet that's gained some traction that Tom Hardy's Max isn't Mel Gibson's Max. That Tom Hardy is actually the feral kid from Mad oh, Max 2. That's great. And he's grown up because the kid is also largely mute. Max has the music box which he gave to the feral kid. Oh, in yeah. Fury Road. Is there <laughs> I, I assume that's not the case. No, but unfortunately, <laughs> but it's a great idea. <laughs> it's really a great idea. It'd be only because at the end of Mad Max 2, it turns out that the narrator yeah, is, is the feral leader. kid as an old man. Mm. Yeah. And he says he lives now only in my memories. And he became... He people, beca people have factored that in. They, oh. They're saying that this happens on his journey to becoming the tribal leader. And another scene that they latch onto is at the end when he says, what, what is your name? It's almost like he said his name is Max for the very first time. Yeah. Obviously, they're reading into uh, that quite a lot. That's really interesting. You know, like he's adopting the identity. You know... Uh, it sounds strange coming from the person whose brain <laughs> these stories come out of, but... We're telling you what the people <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 but Death you know awesome. what's really interesting <laughs> is that, in a way, these are allegories. Mm. And, you know, in many ways, the story is in the eye of the beholder. There are resonances that we see. You know, there's always a dominance hierarchy with a tyrannical guy like the Morton Joe. There's always a struggle over resources, the few controlling the many and all those sort of things. You interpret the story according to your, you, you, the way you see the world. That's what we do there. That's what we, you know, in songs and po poetry, um, you know, that famous story of some guy who figured out what Freddie Mercury and the guys were doing with, with, with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. And he had this theory and... And Freddie Mercury said, if you see it here, it's there. And, and I think that's a reasonable interpretation. Not in my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>